Okay, in this video, we're going to solve the system of equation using the substitution method. And so let's begin. So with the substitution method, we want to get one variable to be by itself. And in this case, x is almost by itself. But we need to get rid of 3y plus 3y. The opposite of plus 3y is negative 3y. So what we're going to do is subtract 3y here and here. And so we end up getting x is equal to 15 minus 3y. Now it's called the substitution method for a reason. x is equal to 15 minus 3y. We're going to substitute. We're going to replace x with that. So now we're going to say we have two parentheses 15 minus 3y close parentheses minus y is equal to 2. We're going to use the distributive property next. So 2 times 15, 2 times negative 3y. 2 times 15 is 30. 2 times negative 3y is negative 6y. We still have a minus y here is equal to 2. So now we can combine 30 minus negative 6y, negative 1y. We get negative 7y is equal to 2. And if we want to get rid of 30, subtract 30 on both sides. And so we have 2 minus 30 will give us negative 28. And we still have negative 7y, so negative 7y. Now it says negative 7 times y. If we want to get rid of the negative 7, we have to divide by negative 7, divide by negative 7. And so y is equal to 4. Once we know y, getting x will be very easy. All we have to do is replace y with what it is. So we said y is going to be 4. So x is equal to 15 minus 3 times 4, which is equal to 15 minus 3 times 4 is 12, so minus 12. So now we have x is equal to 3. So now we know x and y, but it's always a good idea to check. So we said x is 3, and we said y is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. That's correct. We do the second one. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 4 is 2, so that's correct. And so both are correct. Therefore, x is 3 and y is equal to 4. And in the description box of this video, there are more problems.